So these are the job alerts. Once that push notification is enabled, whenever jobs come in, it's going to pop up and you see the alerts. Hello guys, welcome to another Audible Talents tutorial. Today we're going to be learning something interesting. But first, have you ever been in a situation where you wish that you have job alerts coming into your phone from Upwork? Yes, it's possible. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can get job alerts to actually hit your phone and you can actually apply from your mobile telephone straight to Upwork. You don't have to be online all the time. So what I'm going to teach you is going to help you fetch jobs from Upwork to your phone and then you can even share it to anybody and also apply for them. Please ensure that you see this video till the end so that you don't miss any step. Uh, you can be able to set this up and keep it rolling. So if you love this video at the end, give us a thumbs up and we would really appreciate you know, the encouragement. Now let's, let's jump right into it. The first thing you might want to do is to click on find work wherever you are on the Upwork um, platform. And then the next thing you do is to search your niche. So I'm going to search market research. So on that job, so immediately market research comes up. The next thing I'm going to do is to use the filter to, to actually filter these jobs so that you can suit uh, what I want to apply for in the future. So first of all, this experience level. I'm going to set my experience level to be between intermediate and expert. And then I'm going to also select hourly. So I would like to see hourly jobs as well. And then I would like to select 30 dollars minimum, you know, for for the jobs that I want to apply for. I would also select fixed rates and then uh, select 500 to 1K as the, um, you know, the fixed rate numbers that I want to see. So I'll go straight to number of proposals and then select less than five. I like to see less than five proposals. And I mean, uh, the jobs will, you know, there'll be this higher opportunities, you know, when you select, you know, that number and then uh, you may want to select payment verified. So we don't want to see any jobs that the clients are not, whether they are ready to hire, you didn't know. So it's payment verified. And then go straight to client history. We want to, I always want to also work with people who have no higher history, um, though their payment is verified and new clients. So um, that's also important. Then one to five hires and 10 plus hires. So I just want to see everyone actually. So you have the opportunity to also set location, but I'm not going to set location for this. Um, I'm just going to leave it um, just right the way it is. And there's a pro there's a place where you can set project length. So I'm going to select all of them, you know, because because the more uh, the longer the project, the the, the more likely the earning. And then the hours, mm -hmm. also I'm going to select everything. So, but I'm not going to select contract to hire because I want the job to you know be flexible, whether contract to hire or anything. So now that I've done this. Um, I've already actually set, you know, um, the ball rolling. So these are the kind of jobs that are actually going to be popping up on my feed. So what I'm going to do is to first of all come here to 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 get the RSS code, right? So I'm going to click on this right now. So because I'm using um, Firefox to do this, Firefox is going to actually download this, you know, to my file. But if you're doing this on Chrome, Chrome is just going to automatically open this on another tab when you click on the RRS. So I'm going to click on this right now. So I'll see the file on my laptop and then I'm going to open it. Uh, I'm going to open it. So when I open it, I'll just go straight to, you know, uh, probably the Word document and copy the full link as it is. And then I'm going to paste this here on my WhatsApp. So this is the link. Upwork, this is the RRS I copied. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this now and I'm gonna head straight to my phone and do the remaining setup. So guys, mainly you get the, the RSS link from Upwork. The next thing that you may want to do is to head straight to Google Play Store, download feeder.co. Feeder.co is, is an app that can enable you to do this. So I've already downloaded this on my phone. You can see it here. So immediately I open this, go to the search area, 
and then go back to remember i had to send that to myself on whatsapp through my laptop so i'm not coming here to whatsapp this is the link once i get the link i'll just go back to feeder paste the link here and then click on search so immediately i search this is going to pop up see all upwork jobs so all the things I configured, you know, all the, all the features I did is just going to show up like this and I will just click on follow. So maybe I follow this and actually enter it. You see, it will show me how long I want to get notifications for this particular job. So I'm just going to set one minute, but it's not going to deliver one minute because um, if I to deliver in a minute's time for you, you need to actually sign up on this. You can also, also get email notifications when you sign up. And so this also has a notification turn. You have to turn on the notification so that um, you get your notification whenever uh, jobs actually come up. So I'm going to click on done. So when I click on done, I can go to home. You see all the jobs here. You see all the jobs. So there are other things that you, you can also do when you download this. One of the things that you can do is change how yeah, you want it to display. You can change the OX setting, you know, whether you want to be great. And then you can enable push notification. And once that push notification is enabled, whenever jobs come in, it's going to um, pop up, you know, and you see the alert. So these are, these are the job alerts, you know. So I can actually go here, click on it, and then read about the job. So I can click here to apply. So there's something that happens. It's going to run on Chrome. And actually open on chrome for you so but if you want this to open directly so you need to go back to chrome and log in on upwork so maybe you log in your account is going to open on upwork so the reason why you're logging in on your chrome is that each time you go back to feeder.feeder.co so you just click on apply so maybe you click on apply to just get the job open for you can see that this job is no longer available a client has already hired on the job so you can go back to feeder again and look out for more jobs let's say um let me look at this so you can actually look at this and then click to apply so you made you click to apply it will take you straight to the job on upwork then you can start applying immediately let me know what you think in the comment section and um, I hope you will learn something from this video. If you have any doubts or maybe you have a problem setting this up, let us know as well and we'll be very, very happy to help. Thank you.